Hello everyone and welcome to my video today. Now I know there are plenty of other videos already out there teaching you how to make ringtones for free using iTunes, but I'm hoping my video is going to be a little bit easier to understand. Now I am running on a PC using Windows 7, and we are also going to be running with iTunes 10 today. Now I have right here the song highlighted that I want to take a sample from and turn that into a ringtone. So first things first, go ahead and right click on your song and go down here to create AAC version. Now what this is doing is creating a copy of the original track so that we may further edit the times into a sample you want to use for your ringtone. And as you can see, once the copy is done processing, it shows up right below the original in the library. Okay, now you're going to right click the copy and you're going to go down here to get info. At the top where all the tabs are, you're going to want to click options. And right down here, as you can see, there's a start time and a stop time. Now typically the start time is going to be zero because that's when the song will start and the stop time will be whatever the time the song ends. My sample starts at 20 seconds, so we're going to put in 20 seconds for our start time. Now typically with the iPhone, you can go ahead and use about 40 seconds for a ringtone. For the sake of the video, we're just going to use 30. So we're going to change our end time to 50 seconds. Now as you can see, it has your start time and your stop time already set. So click OK. And now what we're going to want to do is on the copy that you just changed the times on, go down here and click Create AAC Version for a second time. Now it's converting your new copy, which is a copy of a copy, and as you can see the time is 30 seconds, so this is the exact timing of the ringtone that you want to use. Now, we're going to right click this again, the 30 second copy, and you're going to go down here to Show and Windows Explorer. Go ahead and click that. Now we have our Windows Explorer open here, and you're going to want to hit the Alt tab on your keyboard, and as you can see right at the top we have a new set of options that just popped down. Now after you've done this uh, next step for the first time, it won't ask you to do this anymore. Click the Tools option and go down to Folder Options right at the bottom. Now, up here you're going to see a couple different tabs. Click on the View tab. Now down here we have plenty of options on how you want to view things in your Windows Explorer. All you want to worry about is Hide Extensions for Known File Types. Make sure this is unchecked, which can allow you to change the file type of each song. Go ahead and click OK. You might have to click Apply first, so make sure you do that. Now, right here it's going to have the new song that you want for a ringtone highlighted right click on this song and go down here to properties now as you can see it's an M4A which is the usual file type for a song that's playing in iTunes MPEG4 now all you have to do is go to the end of the extension backspace in the A and change it into an R this makes it into a ringtone just like that now go ahead after you've done that click OK an alert's going to pop up saying that it may change the file type and you may not be able to use this anymore that's fine we're going to click OK anyway and then what you want to do then is find the one that's still highlighted here, double click this, and it's going to open right in your iTunes. Now as you can see, it didn't start playing right over here, and for that reason, it's because it goes into your Tones folder where all of your ringtones should be stored. If you go ahead and click on there, you can see the first song will be the one that you just made. Now it's officially a ringtone with the rest of your ringtones, and all you have to do is connect your iPhone to the computer and sync it up. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I hope it was easy. If you haven't already, go ahead and subscribe so you can see the rest of my videos. Thanks again.